Hi, this is Whitney Brown here at the MC Squared Conference in Orlando, and we're talking to the MT Connect Challenge finalists about the applications that they created using MT Connect data. First, we're going to talk to Joel Nydig, and Joel created an application that uses Google Glass. How are you, Joel? Good, Whitney. Um, so yeah, so basically we developed um, MT Connect plus Google Glass, and uh, Google Glass is a heads-up uh, wearable technology and it's basically a computer that you can wear but it has a camera and you can have do voice activation and things like that but what we did is we brought uh, machine data right to the user um, point of view and it also has um, you can put in side shields for safety glasses as well so what's next for your application if you win uh, we're gonna try and uh, develop more of an enterprise structure and and try to market it good luck thank you Next, we're going to talk to Shane Crandall, who created an application called Promise. How are you, Shane? Good, how are you? I'm great. Can you tell us a little bit about your solution? It's a user-configured MT Connect client. It and all of its dependencies are free. It allows the uh, end user to create views like this uh, without the need for a systems integrator. All right, so what are you going to do if you win? Keep working on Promise, release it, and go to grad school. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. And here we have Jim. Jim is with International Techno Group, and he's going to tell us a bit about his application. Well, our application runs on top of Visio, and it's meant to be down in the factory where the, you know, the frontline workers are. And you can draw any data that you're interested in getting, and, and it'll run real time and show you what's going on in the factory. So when would you like to get this out on the factory floor? Uh, we picked up about 10 beta testers at this show and around about the middle of May we're going to ship out the first beta set for them. Sounds like it was a success. Right. And next we're going to talk to Donovan Buckley who's with GE Research Center. Can you tell us about what you've created? Yes, um, so what we have here is an uh, application called um, Interactive Work Instruction and the key component of this is to focus on, on the operator. So we develop an application that supports the operator at the operator level. And it sounds like you already have plans for this application if you win. Ab what are those plans? Absolutely, we do have plans for it. So um, we expect to, to kind of promote this through the DMDI uh, as, as a, another project, take it to the next level so that it can become um, an industrial um, application. So that's the key plan right now. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And next, last but not least, we have uh, Valerie Pizzullo, who is actually about to graduate from Clemson University as a graduate student. How are you, Valerie? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Can you tell us about your setup here? Um, so we have an application that will be able to integrate data collected from MT Connect through a uh, machine simulator provided by Akuma. And we have uh, sensor integration as well into the application in order to uh, detect uh, chatter conditions and then we can use the data collected by the sensors along with the data collected by MT Connect to relate where chatter could have occurred on the part, what parameters could have caused it and then we can track that information according to the specific part in order to use it for future analysis. It sounds like you put a lot of work into it. Do you have plans if you win first place or second or third? The prizes are all fantastic. Um, definitely pay off my student loans to first start. <laughs> Sounds like a good use of the money. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thanks so much. As you can see, the competition is heating up. The MT Connect Challenge was sponsored by the Office of the Secretary of Defense, Defense-Wide Manufacturing Science and Technology Program. And the prizes are big. It's $100,000 for the first place winner, 75 for the second place, and 50 for the third. So let's go see who wins. Number three, third place prize uh, of $50,000 is Promise, Shane Crandall. Uh, the second place is Expanding Manufacturing Vision, MT Connect plus Google Glasses. I temp go Joel Nighting. And the winner is uh, first place, machining process monitoring to aid in chatter identification.